Tissue calcification is a huge problem. In fact, it is one of the most common causes of premature aging, along with other metabolic problems in the body. So in this video, I want to explain its causes, how to check if you yourself suffer from tissue calcification, and finally, how to get all that calcium out of your tissue and into the bones where it's supposed to be. To start off, let's first talk about what tissue calcification actually is. Basically, calcification is a buildup of calcium in the body tissue. As you know, calcium is supposed to be mainly in the bones and teeth, with very small amounts also present in the muscle and other cells. However, over time, calcium can also form hardened deposits in soft tissues, arteries, and other areas where it's not supposed to be. Some calcifications don't cause painful symptoms, while others can lead to severe complications, especially in the arteries that deliver oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the tissues of the body. This will cause them to stiffen and increases your risk of cardiovascular disease. Studies have shown that almost 90% of men and almost 70% of women older than the age of 70 have signs of significant calcium deposits in their arteries. While these official figures might make it seem like this is an old people's problem, my own experience and that of many practitioners who specialize in the field says otherwise. I would go so far as to say that most people have some form of tissue calcification. But because the problem is so difficult to diagnose, it often goes unnoticed for many years while their bodies accumulate more and more calcium in the wrong places. Unfortunately, over time, the excess calcium won't be your only problem. As more and more calcium precipitates into the tissue and is lost in places where you need it, you will most likely also develop a calcium deficiency as well. This phenomenon is called biounavailable calcium, and it basically means that you have too much calcium build up in the body, but most of it cannot be used properly. So you have symptoms of both excess unavailable calcium in the tissue, as well as a deficiency of available calcium in the blood and elsewhere where it's supposed to be. In my video on how to take calcium, I use the analogy of a thirsty sailor stranded at sea. He has unlimited water around him, but cannot use it because it's not in the right form and therefore toxic. Understanding biounavailable calcium is really the key to reversing tissue calcification. Most people and even most practitioners still think that you can either have a calcium deficiency or a calcium excess. Both are treated fairly simple as I explained in my video on how to take calcium. However, in my experience, the real problem is this biounavailable calcium, where you have both at the same time. So the million dollar question is, how do you treat biounavailable calcium? How do you make it available again? For this, we need to look at the root causes of tissue calcification and biounavailability, because both are really one and the same in most cases. To explain what causes calcium buildup, you need to understand what a healthy body does when you consume calcium. The following explanation will be a little technical, but I will summarize the most important insights later on, don't worry. Let's assume you eat a dairy product such as cheese, which we all know is fairly high in calcium. Basically, what should happen next is that the hydrochloric acid in your stomach breaks down the cheese and also dissolves the calcium. Later, this dissolved calcium is absorbed through the lining of the small intestine into the bloodstream, where it can be carried into the bones, teeth, or wherever your body needs it. Now, for each of these steps, so digestion, absorption, and transport, the body needs several key nutrients to function properly. Let's go over them one by one. For calcium digestion, you need healthy hydrochloric acid production. And important nutrients here are zinc, and B vitamins, especially B6. In terms of calcium absorption, it is absorbed through the lining of the small intestine. This is done with the help of intestinal vitamin D receptors. So an important nutrient here is natural vitamin D, but please limit or avoid supplements. I talk about this in more detail in my video on vitamin D. And in terms of calcium transport and utilization, it needs to be bound to carrier proteins and kept in solution. And important nutrients here is a sufficient protein intake, strong adrenals, magnesium, and vitamin K2. Other cofactors I haven't talked about 
are vitamin A, copper, and boron. In theory, tissue calcification can happen in each of the three steps. Whenever one of the bodily functions isn't working properly, or when you're lacking the necessary nutrients and cofactors. But when you look at steps 1 and 2, so digestion and absorption, you will see that they can easily be fixed. Step 1 by supplementing zinc and vitamin B, and step 2 by increasing your natural vitamin D levels. Like I said before, I'm not a big fan of vitamin D supplements, and instead recommend sunbathing or cod liver oil for natural vitamin D. Again, for more details, please watch my video on how to take vitamin D. Now, step three is different. Not only do you need sufficient protein and vitamin K2 intake to ensure that calcium can be bound to carrier proteins, but you also need strong adrenal glands. Why? Because strong adrenals, together with magnesium, keep calcium in solution, so it doesn't harden and form deposits. The way your adrenals do this is by controlling the levels of potassium and sodium in your body, both of which act as solvents of other minerals. Unfortunately, most people today have weak adrenals. Stress is mostly blamed for this, and let's be honest, who doesn't live a stressful life? When you are chronically stressed, your adrenal glands work overtime and will become weaker and weaker. In the long term, this leads to lower sodium and potassium in your tissue, which in turn deprives your body of the ability to dissolve hardened calcium and increases the possibility for tissue calcification. Okay, like I said before, this is all very technical and you're probably pretty overwhelmed right now. That's okay and totally normal. To help you understand everything a little better, let me summarize the most important learnings again. Really, all you need to know is that in most cases, the root causes of tissue calcification are one, a lack of calcium cofactors, for example, vitamin K2, natural vitamin D, and magnesium, or two, weak adrenals, which leads to a lack of solving agents, primarily sodium and potassium. What's important to understand is that cause one cannot be fixed by a simple multivitamin or multimineral supplement, and cause two cannot be fixed by simply consuming more sodium and more potassium. Instead, you want to get your mineral levels tested correctly which means doing a hair analysis and not a blood test, and then work on strengthening your adrenals through a proper diet and more rest. For both steps, please work with someone who has experience with this type of problem. It is a very complex topic and you definitely need a professional to help you get started. I will link a step-by-step -step guide that you can download with all the important info so you can begin right away.